Columbus Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation. One, two, one, eight, Zulu. Weather. Wind. Two, seven, zero, at five. Visibility. One, zero. Clear. Below. One. Okay, your flaps are set. My trim looks okay. So on Monday, we uh, snuck out and uh, did some practice approaches. Yeah, and we're both a little rusty. Uh, you have not spent a significant amount of time in the left seat of the RV-10, and so we switched it up and we flew from the left seat this time. Well, I should, I've not spent a significant amount of time with you in the RV-10. Yep. On the, in the left side. So, went out and did a couple approaches. We thought we'd film it, put one together for this video. Uh, I talk, talk a lot, talk to myself a lot, talk to Annie a lot, making sure we're working through the G3X system properly, so, yeah. And just shaken some of the rust off also something that I am not good at or that I'm I guess I shouldn't say good at uh, I'm not very comfortable flying with Caleb in when I'm the PIC I haven't done it a lot and flying with your spouse is can be kind of interesting uh, especially when your spouse built the plane and you don't want to get divorced if you scratch it up. Yeah, fair. <laughs> so, um, one of the things that uh, is, is kind of a goal of mine for this year is to be a more confident flyer. And so in this video, I think you hear me being a little unsure of myself. And I think that is just part of flying with your spouse. Yep, I think also we did three approaches. We only put one in the video, but um, we, we talk through all of the natures of what we're doing, right? So we talk through the, the go around, we talk through getting there, we talk through the re-navigation, we talk through making sure everything is lined up properly, you know, what we're gonna do ahead of time, simulating as though we were being dual pilots in a real IFR scenario, right? So we're, we're making sure we're both aware of what's happening and, and also helps us refresh a, a, our minds with, you know, what is all required when you're flying an approach in the G3X system. Let's go fly them. I would go ahead and set it to heading mode, and then switch over since you're, you're tracking in, set it to heading mode. Yep. Switch over to localizer. And then go back to I'll nav. go to nav mode, yep. Make yeah. sure make sure it catches, make sure everything seems good, right? It's it's it, it's good, it's just chasing a little bit left. And now you can go ahead and do approach mode. Because we're all lined up and ready for the approach. Okay, that's captured. That's good. Right. And the flight slip's coming into it.
made a sunshade on the side. All right, so missed approach again. We'll do the exact same thing. Okay, your heading, your heading bug is ready to go. So basically, get the toga, uh -huh. let it get the climb going. As soon as you do that, you can hit heading and let the autopilot fly us on a heading. And then once everything's good and established, then we'll do the indicated airspeed. Switch it over to indicated airspeed climb, okay? Okay. So, I'm getting ready to cross cliff, so you want the boost pump on now? Yep, go ahead. I'd get as much set as you can. I go ahead and get your prop, get your prop ready. Kinda go, that's why I kind of go like this, because okay, we're starting to descend. Yeah. yeah. I don't like to push the prop all the way in, because it'll go too high RPM. But once we get the power back a little bit, we can continue with the prop a little more. Columbus Towers, Atelier Tango is crossing cliffs inbound. Mr. Burke, you're doing Mr. Burke again. Yeah, Roger. Report your Mr. Burke. Yeah, you want to tell them what you're doing, too. Right. Report, uh, we'll report Mr. Poach, Atelier Tango. Yeah, we're still a little fast, so let's go back another slight bit on that. See, it's nosing up, so it's going to slow down on its own here in a second, so going to let it see where it stabilizes before we make any more power changes. Seems like we're still just a little fast, so I'd go ahead and come back just a little more. Don't switch fuel tanks, we'll do that after we get on the climb. It's nosing up again, so that'll bleed some airspeed off. We'll see where it comes. back down, so I'd go ahead and bring the power back just a little bit more so we don't gain airspeed there. I'm just trying to anticipate what I think it's doing. Okay, 500 to go. Okay. Something right there, huh? Yeah, just get, get going first. Power in. All the way. Am I getting bumped? You're fine. Hit, hit the head. Oh, because I'm not. Do heading, do heading. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's because we're going to switch to GPS mode. That's why. There we go. Okay. Now you can do an indicated airspeed climb. Right there, just, just leave, just leave it, just leave it. Okay, you're fine. It just, it'll capture the speed that you're climbing at. You're perfect. Now get your power back. You're, you know, plenty off the ground. Top five two, thank you. This one, give me one more. Five two, thank you, Roger. Report close to the map. Put the map, five two, thank you. There you go. Let the boost pop off. Yep. Now you can adjust your indicated airspeed a little bit if you want to, but this is perfectly fine. Okay. 